Let's find this inverse Laplace transform in two minutes. The objective is to manipulate this into a form that is readily available in a standard table of transforms. We'll do this by first factoring an S from the denominator. And then we'll break this into partial fractions. The first factor is linear, so the fraction will be A over S. But the second factor is an irreducible quadratic, a quadratic factor with no real roots. The numerator for this type of factor is a linear function of s. And now we'll find the constants a, b, and c by first clearing the denominators, expanding, grouping like terms, and then solving for a, b, and c by comparing coefficients. The coefficient of s squared, a plus b, must be zero. The coefficient of s, c, must also be zero. And the constant 5a must be equal to one. This gives us a equals one fifth. So from the first equation, b must be negative one fifth. And now we'll substitute those values and perhaps factor a 1 over 5 outside. So the inverse Laplace of the original is now the inverse Laplace of these two fractions. The Laplace and its inverse are linear operators, so we can take the 1 fifth outside. And now we have two fractions whose inverse Laplace is readily available in a table. The inverse Laplace of 1 over s is 1, and the second term is a cosine. So this will be the result. One over five minus one over five cosine radical five t. And that's the final answer.